Diet is really important to fitness goals, obviously. By diet, I just mean what you put in your body. I don't mean a specific thing because, or a specific type, a list, or whatever. Um, I consider those fad diets. If they've got a name, it's kind of a fad. There's this one. Uh, it's called, I don't know, Jurassic Park or Caveman or something. It's, it's supposed to be how we ate when we were first evolving. You know, a lot of nuts, a lot of, I think there's fruit and meat, but no potatoes, which I couldn't do. I love potatoes. Um, and that's great. It sounds decent. I mean, humanity lived on something like that for a long time before we became evolved into humans, I guess. Um, but I, that's not some. That's not for me. It's a. It's a fad. It's something I can't do. It's potatoes. I love potatoes. So I'd have to quit out of that. But there, there, you know, there are aspects of it that I really like, like more nuts. I think we. I think we do need more nuts in our diet. Um, I, I, I saw something yesterday on a video, on a video about nuts. It's like uh, reduce your cholesterol or something if you eat more nuts. But, um, yeah, diets. I consider, I, if it's got a name, I consider that. Otherwise, it's going to just be healthy. If you just take what you eat, it's healthy. You've got to get healthy choices is what's important. No, it's not not saying that anything with a name can't be long-sustaining, but it, it's, it's dependent on the person and the individual. It's, it's choices, it's discipline. It's, it's not all the way across the board. Like the Subway diet. I saw a commercial the other day with uh, Jared from Subway. He lost all the weight 17 years ago, and he's kept it off. And I think it's a marketing thing to say that it's just Subway, because it has to be diet and exercise. Exercise is important, too. That's a key ingredient in uh, fitness. But because he, like, walked, what, two or three miles to the Subway. I mean, that's... There it is. Sure, eating eating good is important, but you got to work out. That, that's what I'm saying. There, there's some scientific stuff, details I don't really understand about about why eat what foods. Um, we use the mantra "food is fuel." That's a that's a very common fitness goal mantra about diet. Food is fuel. I can't really explain what that means exactly. I mean, I know the body burns different foods different ways, stores different foods different ways, but there's a bunch of scientific details. If you if you want more information, of course, look it up. Duh. But food is fuel. I just recognize that. That what I put into my body is going to be it, it, it's important. Whatever I put in my body is important. I am on currently um, a no sugar challenge. I say challenge because um, in um, Reset, we have these food challenges with accountability. If I break it um, after the next workout, it's 25 burpees. I can't really, ex it's hard to explain what a burpee is. It's, it's uh, if you don't know, you down, um, chest to the deck, it's like a, then you jump up, like a jump and you jump like a jumping jack. It's like squat. It's up and downs, basically. They they sound not not bad. They don't sound bad, but oh, if you if you ever done one, you know it. Burpees can take a lot out of you, and twenty five is a big deal. So I'm not I'm not eating sugar. And three weeks is will make you good or. It will make a good good habit. Um, I'm not going to permanently take sugar out of my diet, but it's going to reduce the intake because I'll get used to not eating as much sugar. Um, when I when I announced that I was going to go sugar sugarless, um, one of my my pals on YouTube he, uh, on Facebook, one of my pals said oh, that's going to be hard to do because everything's got sugar. And I realize what he's trying, what he's saying, because I mean, he, he's trying to dissuade me because everything does have sugar. But 
it's it's not all the same kind of sugar, and I'm not going to be so legalistic that I look into different forms, you know, like uh, f fructose and sucralose and glucose and all the loses that are, are forms of sugar. I'm just going to look at obvious things. No more sweet tea. No more sweetened coffee. Um, French vanilla, psh, it's out right now. Uh, cakes, cookies, candy, that's out. If it's obviously sugar, I'm not going to intake it. That's that's what this is about. That's what this food challenge is about, obvious sugar. Just take sugar care about it. A lot of people, um, they're doing the food challenge for um, pop. Get rid of pop. Um, that's what we did last year. And um, when I was in the reset, they mentioned doing that, but I, I had to choose something else because... I don't give up pop. Um, it's been about now. It's been seven, eight months since I've had, <clears throat> since I drank pop regularly. I used to drink a lot of Dr Pepper, um, but I don't drink pop anymore. Um, so I had to choose something else for that food challenge. But see, the thing is, you just just give it up, and it'll make a big difference in your life. It really will. Um, I mean. I think two or three weeks ago, um, my wife and I went to, um, we were coming to Home Depot and, you know, outside they're, they're selling drinks and, and, um, and hot dogs. So we bought something and they had bottles. So I got bottles, a bottle of pop, not, not, uh, Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper because they're really, really high in fructose and stuff. I'm trying to cut that stuff down. Anyway, then I was still trying to cut it down and now it's gone now um i got something like fanta or something something fruity it had uh, it was like strawberry or something i don't remember now i took like one gulp and i did something that i don't normally do normally i take at least three tastes of everything but that one just it just totally it, it made me feel not good and it wasn't the sugar content because at that point, I was drinking really sweet, sweet tea all the time. So I, it wasn't sugar; it was it was the bubbles. I can't do carbonated beverages anymore. They just they don't sit well with me. So I gave it to one of my girls. But the point I'm making with that little illustration is that your body might change. You know, I mean. I may not ever drink pop again because it just tastes. It I might I might just go sweet tea all the time, um, because I like sweet tea. So when I get back to eating sugar, that's probably the first thing I have. Uh, but it, what this does is it disciplines the body to less and less to go to less sugar, and um, that it impacts your fitness. In, um, because reset can only do so much in the in the gym. You know, we uh we work it a lot, and man, I'm rubbing my nose a lot. This last year, I've changed so much physically. My balance has improved. My speed, my endurance, my strength. Granted, I'm still not the top. I'm getting better every day, though. And I took a month off, um, personal mercies, so getting back into it's really difficult to do, but I like it, and uh, I like the person that I'm becoming, that I'm uh, nurturing. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that.